What's up product people? I appreciate your support of our channel. Hit like and subscribe for more. So today we're gonna cover a question I'm often asked. What's the difference between a product strategist and a product manager? And are they the same role? Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before the defeat. Sun Tzu, the art of war. I personally love that quote as it sums up the true need for both strategy and execution, product strategy and product management. In the world of product, product strategy and product management as roles are often confused and substituted for each other. As someone who's established product strategy as a function at a few companies, I can understand why. When asked what a product strategist is and does, I like to frame it using analogies. Product strategists are like chess players, thinking several moves ahead about how to reach the outcome. They define the product strategy and the vision. Put in the context of a play, as a product strategist, you are writing the story, framing the opening act, setting the first scene, and carrying the characters forward on their journey. You are not, however, directing and delivering the play to the audience. Product strategist is responsible for the big picture. Product strategy is therefore an activity skewed heavily toward ambiguity, creative thinking, research, and framing. Product strategists focus on defining the North Star, the market opportunity, how the buyer and user will obtain value, how to win in the market, key outcomes metrics, objectives, assumptions, dependencies, constraints, and how the product will deliver on the company's goals and objectives. When asked what a product manager is and does, I also like to frame it using analogies. Product managers are like orchestra conductors that ensure the product strategy is executed effectively and efficiently, that it makes great music. As a product manager, you are the director of the play, fitting it to the actor pool, rehearsing, all leading to opening night, your launch event. Once launched, you manage it as it continues through ebbs and flows until the audience is tired and it's time to retire the play and move on to the next one. A product manager focuses on the details. They work with engineers, designers, and other stakeholders to build the product, launch it, and iterate on it over time. They are also responsible for measuring the product's success and making sure that it's meeting the needs of the target market. Product management is therefore about creative execution. It's about marshalling resources to deliver a functional product over multiple releases. Product management is the process of planning, developing, launching, and managing a product or service. In short, the product strategist focuses on the why and the what, and the product manager focuses on the how and when. To achieve maximum success, the product strategist and product manager need to be aligned. If not, your play will be missing critical elements and the story will seem disjointed when brought to life. Trust me, I've experienced this hypothetical play in my career, and it's definitely not entertaining. The product strategist needs to provide the product manager with a clear vision of what the product should be. In turn, the product manager needs to make sure that the product is aligned to that vision, yet desirable, feasible, marketable, and fits the capabilities of the team. Magic happens when the product strategist and the product manager are in perfect sync. Product strategists and product managers are therefore important and distinct roles in product development. But does that mean they're two different people? This is a harder question to answer as it depends. The primary driver for separating the role between two different people is often the size of the company and the size of the product. You really have to ask yourself, are there sufficient resources and revenue to afford this separation? In medium to mega companies, the answer is almost always yes. They are, most often, two different people filling two different roles. In smaller companies, the product manager has to wear both hats. That said, there are always exceptions. The challenge I've seen is being both a chess player and an orchestra conductor or the playwright and a producer. It's really a big ask of anyone. So while it can be one person wearing two hats, to get the best outcome, two people with complementary skills are better. That is, of course, unless you find a unicorn. 
Thanks for supporting our channel. Hit like and subscribe.